today I wanted to talk to you guys about eating at restaurants. This is a very highly requested video, so I hope that you guys will find it somewhat helpful. I wrote down a couple notes, as usual, um, and I thought that now would be a good time for me to talk about this subject because I just came back from a vacation where I ate at a lot of restaurants or on a cruise where it's sort of like a restaurant setting. So I thought I'd have some good tips for you guys. If you have some background, I haven't really, I wasn't really much of a restaurant type of person before my eating disorder, like, um, my family didn't eat out very much, but, um, on occasion I did go out with my friends, and when I go out I'd have, like, the higher calorie dishes, like the, the really, like, heavy pastas and stuff like that, and, like, I remember I had, like, a full rack of ribs once, and, um, and I used to eat like whatever I want. I didn't really worry about food. And when I'm sick, when I haven't gone to the restaurant so far, I've gone like gotten salad without me dressing or anything. But while I was on vacation, that sort of changed. I was able to eat at a restaurant. I ate at a steakhouse, and I had like grilled chicken with a big potato and something else. I don't remember what it was. And like on the cruise, I had like a bunch of like regular meals, like regular entrees. Um, the only thing I haven't had at a restaurant yet is like pasta and beer foods like that. Um, but I mean, it's a struggle every time I eat out and like every time I'm not inside of my comfort zone, which is completely normal for you to not feel comfortable if you're eating out because it's definitely a big step and a big change, but it's a really big progress that you're making. So, um, my main tip would be to try to figure out which restaurant you're going to in advance. Um, for example, if it's like a party or something, try to find out where the restaurant is and what it's called and then you can look up the menu in advance. Um, for some people this might help, this will probably help a lot of you to help relieve your anxiety because you'll be able to like look at the menu in advance and like take your time picking what you're going to order because um, if you're anything like me, you're very indecisive when it comes to ordering food, so it's nice to be able to take your time beforehand. When going out to a restaurant, um, I think I've said this before, but sort of like at Christmas time, it's not really the time to try out like a bunch of food foods at once, um, because the environment is, can be stressful and stuff, and it can be very overwhelming. But if you feel like eating something that you're scared of, I completely 100% like support you to do it. Um, it's just like if you have like a really huge scary um, main meal and you're thinking about it while you feel really guilty, I'd also really suggest that you have a really scary dessert after that um, if you're feeling bad and stuff. So um, try to, if you don't, if you can't find out what restaurant you're eating at um, in advance, try to like think in your head in advance like a list of safe meals that you can have for example like for me I know that every like restaurant has like a Caesar salad and I knew that a safe food would be like to ask for Caesar salad without dressing and stuff like that and I mean that's in like the really worst case because it's really not like a good meal and if you do have that at a restaurant I really suggest you have like a real dinner at home before or after um, because the lettuce is not a meal <laughs> um, I'm just being honest here so you can't really do that. If you do do that, then go back home and have a real meal. Um, otherwise, what I would do um, now, I've gotten sort of like tired of doing that thing, like the lettuce thing at restaurants, and I'm starting to branch out more. Like now, I'll have like um, the grilled chicken. Usually, they have grilled chicken on the menu, whatever kind of food it is, with like. Um, a baked potato with like nothing on it that's sort of like a safe food for me um i'll have that at a restaurant so these are like really safe foods that you can have and it won't be like it'll be a lot like a regular dinner at home i guess is what i'm trying to say um but then you can always like venture out into more adventurous things um usually like i don't know if you want to try something really scary um, but you're not sure if you're going to, like, be okay with it, try to, like, split it with someone else. Like, if you have a close family member or friend or something, be like, oh, I really want to try this, but I don't want to order it for myself. Can you order it? And we can, like, share it or something, and you can order something else, and you guys can both share. 
you can decide how much of it you're going to try. Um, I do that a lot, like I'll be like, mom, can you order this so that I can taste it, but I don't have to like eat the whole thing myself and she'll do it for me gladly. Um, other than that, um, as for dessert, uh, it really depends on you, like if you are a dessert kind of person, I know in my family we don't, we never have dessert at restaurants, but I with my friends we did, so it really depends on vacation, I had dessert at the cruise every night. Um, if you feel ready to try something, go for it. Um, you can always share a dessert with someone that's easy to share, like a slice of cake or something. Or if everyone's having a dessert and you feel like sort of weird not having anything after like a fruit salad or something, um, which can be safe, or like a yogurt or something else. Um, but like, I don't know, if you like dessert, I really suggest you should try it, at least try it, you know, you don't have to finish everything, but at least try it, um, it's better than nothing, so, oh, and also for drinks, um, I always ask for water with my dinner, uh, if you, like I said, for everything else, if you want something, go for it, um, if you find yourself feeling really guilty, I don't think you should push yourself too hard, especially in a setting that's really uncomfortable like that, if you're at home and you're trying, like, new fear foods and stuff, then that's really good for you, and, like, at least at home you have support around you in case something happens, but outside, I mean, you're very in a very delicate state, so, um, try new stuff, but, like, go easy on it. So, that's my advice for eating at a restaurant. Also, if you have trouble eating in front of other people, I have other videos about that, such as eating at school, um, eating around family members, I think I talked about that before. Those are all very similar aspects, so... I mean, take it one day at a time and, you know, try to find out in advance where you're going so you can plan in advance your, your, what you're going to do. So, I hope this video was helpful to some of you, and I hope you're doing very well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!